Hey guys, I'm Seth at the Original Mass General Store here. Um, I've worked here about 25 years. I started when I was 14 actually. Um, just a part-time sales associate. I stock drinks and um, register stuff like that. And now 25 years later, I'm one of the managers. Um, I manage the front room here, the knife shop, a few other things. Um, but here at the Mass Store, we sell basically everything you need. If we don't have it, you don't need it. That's kind of our quote. Um, we've got everything from sodas to, to food here behind you, shoes, t-shirts, about anything you can think of. Um, and of course the building is 140 years old this year. We just celebrated a, an anniversary for it. Um, I love the history of it. Every antique fixture, floorboard is all original. Um, that's what a lot of people come to see is just the 140 years of history, um, which is hard to see anywhere else. So here we sell a lot of uh, jellies and apple butters, preserves. Um, I would say apple butter is probably our number one seller. Um, but people always come for this stuff, buy cases of it for Christmas or just for their own use. Um, we got a lot of pickled stuff. We got lots of uh, local honey, truly local honey. Um, a lot of hard to find items that you don't find at your typical retail store. Um, so and I think we have the largest selection out of our, our mass stores. So uh, a lot of people come here just for the food. And here we got our small selection of candy. Um, now down the street at the annex, they have the bonafide candy barrel, the whole room, nothing but candy. Um, barrels taller than half the kids. So we try to send a lot of people down there or at least warn them that they have a lot more candy for the kids and, and the grown-ups. And they try to find a lot of nostalgic candy that, you know, you can't find anywhere else. So we got a good team of buyers that can find that kind of stuff. So we got a lot of, we got coffee, oh, coffee down here. We got teas, coffee mugs, about anything you need. Oh yeah, I like the coffee mugs. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll have to get me one of those. Yep. We got hot chocolate. We got a lot of hard to find sodas. Uh, a lot of people love the old fashioned sodas. We got Cheerwine, RC, um, a lot of the old, old timey ones. And a lot of people come just for that. Now behind you, or behind me, you'll see all these antiques, um, which were all, they're all original. They were all here when the Coopers bought the store um, from the mast. Um, everything was just in here. It's kind of a turnkey operation and um, now Every room in the store has original antiques that people love to look at. Of course, we get asked a lot, are they for sale? And of course, they are not. We, we cannot get rid of anything. It's, it was, it's what makes the mass store. Um, but people just love looking at the, the brands. They recognize them when they were kids and their grandpa and grandmas had them all. So um, that's one of my favorite parts of the store, the, the antiques and the fixtures and everything's original. And here we got some more uh, more candy. This is our price candy. Um, now tell them what you mean by price candy. I had to ask you that a minute okay. ago. Well, price we actually scan it with a with a barcode. Whereas the the other candy in the barrels, that's by weight. We actually weigh that stuff. But this is just scan, you know, as a, a typical product. Um, again, the annex down the road will have this and a lot more. So if you ever need to see the whole selection, go down the street or pretty much any of the other mass stores. But we have a lot of. Uh, older hard to find candies that you can't find at your typical grocery store or other places here's one i've not seen i don't think at all oh yeah candy buttons people love those and the uh and the wax wax lips stuff like that so it's hard to keep it stocked so you got some just regular supplies for people mm -hmm. who love yeah we got your, your basic uh, essential stuff that um we got toothbrushes toothpaste stuff like that you know it makes us makes us a general store. We have a little bit of hardware left. We sell bolts and nails and nuts and screw stuff like that. Uh, we, we still make keys. Um, so we have a, a basic hardware selection. We used to have a lot more, but it's just it's faded away over the years slowly, unfortunately. <laughs> Seems like you're gonna, big part of your sales now from tourism, I guess. So, exactly, yeah. So I know, think for this particular store, a lot of people come to see the 140 year old building. Um, aside from the cool products that we have but um, I see a lot of people just roaming around looking up not without a single thing in their hand so they're just enjoying the, the atmosphere 
So you got a nice selection of lodge products here. We do, yep, lots of lodge. Um, we have tons of it. We, we get it by pallets at a time. We actually just got this shipment. So, um, and they're, you know, made in Tennessee, so we try to keep it, you know, made in America as much as we can. So the uh, Lodge products has uh, got a lot of different types of cast iron, don't they? I, I've never oh, seen, yeah. I don't guess I've seen quite this big of a selection. Right. The frying pans, we sell the pans the most. Um, we got a lot of the accessories. And everybody says I have my grandmother's cast iron skillet. <laughs> I hear that about every time I sell one. So you can see how long term they are. So it's well, a good, definitely a good general store product. I see some interesting cabinets I didn't notice yesterday. Oh yeah, these are original to the store. These are original. We still, we still have them full of bolts and nuts and washers. Um, a lot of the locals will come get it. A lot of local farmers. Um, they don't sell like crazy, of course, but they are all original. Um, people just like the fixtures themselves. They just like to spin them and and ooh and all over them, which I do too. And we have to count all these bolts in inventory, so <laughs> that's my favorite thing to do. Well, tell us about the stove a little bit. Do you uh, who keeps that going? You use it in the winter as a actually fire it? We do. Huh? We use it kind of in the fall winter. We don't have to, but it adds the, the ambiance of the store. Um, where Watauga Lake is now in Tennessee. Before that was a lake. It was a town of Butler. And that's where that stove came from in the early 50s, um, before they flooded and made it the lake. Now there was an older one before that, um, even one under the store in the early, early days. Um, they were coal fired at one time. Um, now this is wood, but it's, uh, we still use it. People stand around it and all the locals sit around in the chairs and rockers and tell stories of all the farmers. I see so. a picture up here on this uh, beam. Uh, who's, you know who these gentlemen are up here? Uh, yep, that's a, uh, on the right, that is H.W. That was one of the one of the last masts to own the store. His his grandfather started the store, W.W. W. Mast. Um, and then that is Homer on the left. That was one of his under the local good friend. Unfortunately, they have both deceased, but um, everybody knows H.W. And that was H.W. Uh, junior, H.W. Senior, and then W.W. W. were the original mast. Um, so a lot of a lot of historical historical pictures roaming around. I see you sell a lot of the, uh, the ten signs. I like collecting those. Oh yeah, we try to get a, a good selection of the nostalgic and, and somewhat modern and humorous. <laughs> I see a lot of the Bigfoot stuff. I guess it sells pretty good. I see oh, it yeah. everywhere I go. We sell a ton of Bigfoot. I hope he gets um, royalties on how much money they're making. <laughs> so here's our back register, we call it, where we have a lot of uh, local baked goods from the uh, Cove Creek store. And normally we'll have fried pies and uh, pumpkin bread, banana bread. Um, we also have five cent coffee. People come here forever. I mean, from far away just for the five cent coffee. And it is the coffee that we sell. The uh, Currently it's the Appalachian blend. People love that. It's a good medium roast, medium dark. Um, over here we got grits and pancake mix, syrup, all the good baked goods. Uh, pancake mix, cookies, um, and then over here is the the mercantile room, which is actually the original part of the store that was here in 1883. This was the first room built, um, so it's the oldest. You got the oldest floorboards and ceiling boards. If you look a little farther, you can see the line in the ceiling and the floor. And that, from there on, that was what was added out and over probably uh, before 1900. But um, and of course, the upstairs was here in 1883 as well. But well, this is the oldest room of the building, and one of my favorite. And it, it stocks the uh, t-shirts, the children's toys, kitchen, um, just mercantile items. You got coffee mugs, we got uh, apothecary, birch bees, stuff like that. So basically everything for a general store. But if you look at the floorboards, you see how uh, that's 140 years of moving back and forth. See how the nail holes have expanded and contracted so this is all original and we got our dishes got our register up there we got some kitchen gadgets here basic cooking stuff and then uh over that way we got our uh our apothecary we call it we got a lot hard to find liniments and salves we got a lot of birch bees products uh, we got some soaps 
to fly that. <laughs> well, we got a lot of stickers. If anybody collects stickers, well, there's something I'm not seeing. <laughs> oh yeah, we got we got crayons, wooden crayons. And we got a good uh, puzzle selection behind the register, including uh, we have our own mass store puzzles. Oh yeah, let's see one of those. Uh, right over that? here. That's the uh, the original store. I think there, and we also have this one. Uh, we got the candy, all uh, the candy barrel puzzle, and there might be uh, one more. Oh, and we also have a winter scene up there on the on the top. So they can take a little bit of the mass general home with them in a puzzle, can't they? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> they they sell very well. So right here, you was talking a few minutes ago about where the, uh -huh. they added the store on. We can see the scene a little bit better now that we're up exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah, you can see that in in the floor right there, right where you're standing. See that line. So that forward, this was the original part, and then it was added on out this way, and to the left and to the right. Um, like I said, before 1900, generally a lot of stuff was, you know, it came at different times, but in general. Uh, this is now, the original. Now here's one of my favorite Seth right here when I was a kid. I used to love these little uh, balsic wood airplanes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't see those when I was in here yesterday. Yeah, those have hung there for quite a while. All the dust on them. <laughs> now, do y'all sell those here? Um, I, oh, we do. Uh -huh. We have for years. Yep. Okay. Nice. And again, all the antiques in this room as well were all here. They're just put up there for display, but everybody wants to buy them. And you can see uh, some more photos over here if you want to check out what it used to look like. <clears throat> so here it is in the in the in the forties. Um, still looks about the same today. Just well, it's just white now, white and green. Now we're into the shoe department, which is still pretty old. I believe the back part was also original in 1883. You can again you can see the expansion line there. Um, but people come here just for shoes. We have a lot of good professional sales associates that can fit them properly. We got socks. Downstairs is the women's shoes, and then upstairs we have the men's shoe shoe department. Downstairs and upstairs. Now, what do you mean? Are they uh, right up here, we have, there's a little set of stairs. Uh, the it upper part up. is the men's and the knife shop. Uh, the company's biggest knife shop. This is this is the best room in the store, in my opinion. <laughs> Now this is the uh, men's shoes and boots, and then we have the knife shop. We have uh, the largest selection of knives in the company. Now this particular room is actually the newest room of the whole building. It was the potato grating room. Um, you can see the exterior wall behind you, um, but it was still probably here in the, before 1920. You called it the what now? The potato grating? The potato grating room. They would grate different sizes of potatoes on a big conveyor belt. And actually see that trap door right there? Um, that's where they would store them. It's kind of like a cellar. They would store the potatoes down there, keep them cool. And then, um, and it was also the feed room at one time. There used to be double doors behind that, that last knife case. And they'd open them up and back the feed trucks up and load and unload. We have an excellent knife shop crew that knows everything about knives. Now this particular case here is all pretty much locally handmade, or at least North Carolina. Uh, some big names like Winkler, Kremlin Woodsman, a lot of these are household names around here. We got Naylor Forge, these are actually truly hand forged with an anvil and a hammer. We got people out of Winston-Salem, Fort Liberty, we have beautiful Damascus right here by R.L. Scott. Those are one of a kind. And then if you look around we got about every brand you can think of. Now, can they order these online from your? Uh, mm -hmm. online? They can. Uh, most of them, not all of them. Some are kind of special to our this particular shop. But yeah, you can. Uh, we have a toll-free number you can call, or online. We can get it shipped right to you. And today, there we got a big shipment of knives in, so you can notice all the knives that the well, Alex there is pricing. A lot of beautiful case. So we get excited when we get a big shipment of knives in, because <laughs> we go through them fast. So you was telling me, uh, we might have talked about this a little bit earlier, I know we talked about it, uh, I don't know if we got it on film, you was talking about you started here at 14 and ended up just staying here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was 14. I wasn't really excited about a job at the time, I was in high school, 
but I came on uh, part time, just stocking drinks. I was hoping not to have to talk to anybody, but uh, <laughs> over time, um, I just grew to love the store. And uh, after high school, once I graduated, I uh, came full time and then became a manager and just stuck it out ever since 2001. So I'm still here today. Plan on sticking around? Oh yeah, I got two kids now, so I gotta <laughs> get them through, uh, through elementary and all that, so. <laughs> you live here in the, in the Valley Coast? I do, Society? I just live about a mile and a half off the road. My two kids just go down to the local elementary school. My wife is a nurse at a local, at the Watauga Hospital. So everybody's local. <laughs> all right, well we appreciate your time this morning. Yeah, thank you, I enjoyed it.